What's up lads and ladettes, how are you all doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. So today we're, it's sort of a two-pronged thing. To start off with, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, set up Loot Nanny so you can utilize it and all that sort of stuff. Loot Nanny is one of those tools that I now recommend to like everyone. Everyone should try, like should get Loot Nanny or a similar uh, looting tool, um, like looting tracker. It is very fucking handy and very, very useful at giving you, like, a true-to-life estimate on what you actually are getting back. Uh, not just in TT value, but also in your markup stuff, which I'll, I'll go over uh, the markup bit at the end. But, on one of the previous videos, one of you guys asked me, how exactly do you set this up, right? So, you've got, you've got your loot stuff, which will give you all of the information on your hunt. You've got your analysis, which is a little bit more of an in-depth thing. So, you know, kill to return and run TT return, things like that. You have all the skills that you're going to uh, gonna be gaining, which is cool. You've got the combat, like the actual information on the combat. How many shots fired, your total damage, your overall DPP for a run. So, you know, if you want to, if you got a new ring and you want to test out how much that ring actually changes things, you can throw that ring on. Like if the ring has like critical hit and things like that. You can throw that ring on and then see in real time the changes, the increased critical chance and all that sort of stuff. It's some really good shit. You have the crafting, which I haven't uh, utilized yet. I haven't tried. I haven't, I haven't, you know, I haven't given it a, a crack yet. You have the Twitch stuff, which I'm not 100% certain on how that works. Then you have the configure. Now, a lot, of, like one of you guys asked me, how exactly do you get it to read your chat and all that sort of stuff well with entropia you actually say you can actually save your in-game chat uh your chat log as a file so what you want to do is you want to come into options and you want to go to inf interface and you want to go over to here which is enable main chat logging and you want to make sure that is ticked once that is ticked you apply and all that good stuff then you bring up the loot nanny and then you click find file if you're having difficulty figuring out where the file is, go into your uh, thingy down here, your little 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 thing here. Go in, like on Windows, go into that, and then go into your documents. In documents, there should be Entropia Universe. In that folder, there should be a uh, there should be a uh, a main chat or just a chat log. You should be able to find that. Shouldn't be too difficult, so all you do is you find that, you know, you go find file and you select it, and then it will be recording your, it will be basically taking your uh, main chat log and recording all of the information that it can possibly record. Now, with, um, with the various, you know, weapons, this is the next step, you want to make sure that you are properly sorted in this whole weapons area, okay? So, for instance, let's say I was going to use a an LR twenty with its um it, with a with an R max, sorry, an R matrix stuff. So, one, I want to go to here and I want to go uh, add weapon loadout. So, once you're at add weapon loadout, you go into the weapons, and I'm already in A. One quick tip: if you like, you can scroll up and down if you want. But let's say that your weapon is something that's, you know, in I, right? Just click I and it'll bring you down to, down to I. And if you want to go back up, click A. It, it's, 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 it's very simple. So you can just click the um, letter and it will take you straight to that section of the alphabet and you, then you'll be able to find your, your stuff. So let's say I want an LR... Let's say I'm going to be using an LR LR25, an R matrix LR25 with a uh, with a I don't know a, a B10. You know, I can click on that, then I can click confirm, and let's say I want to select that loadout. I go select loadout, and it will give you all of your extra stuff. Right now, if you were to go onto here. You could delete loadout, add weapons. We'll go down to the R matrix stuff again, and we'll click on the LR25. Go confirm. It's unamped. Now let, let's see if this actually changes or not. 
because I haven't tested this out yet. Yes, it does. So it changes the tool decay and the ammo burn. So it will be true to life as to what you're actually spending. Now, what I'm going to be spending, what I'm going to be utilizing is my corrosive attack nano chip 4. So I want to go to select loadout and it will punch it all in for me. What I want to do next, since I want to show you guys the stuff that I'm going to be getting, I want to click on show streamer UI and it'll bring up this handy dandy thing here. Now this is a good idea even like for people that have uh, just one monitor and they don't want to keep you know like minimizing and going to loot nanny or anything like that. You can just click on this and it will keep it will stay in the game without needing to uh, you know without needing to have the the bar down below. Then once you're all ready, you're all set up, you've got your thing that you want to utilize. All you do is just click here, start run, and then you are you're 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 good you're good to go. You are good to go. Now I am going to utilize a little little looting pill, and we are going to utilize our corrosive attack four, and we're just going to burn through the uh, we're going to burn through the forty PED of uh, ammunition, and then that will. That should give us an ample amount of stuff. Now, when you're looking at this, you're going to see four different things, okay? You're going to see your total loots. You're going to see total spent, total returns, and you're going to see this big percentage. This big percentage is your overall TT return, okay? This is your overall TT return. This is how much you have spent with ammunition and your, your ammunition and your weapon decay. I don't think it takes into account your armor decay, so that's something you might have to track separately. Not 100% certain on that, but uh, it's best to just track it separately. But this total returns, okay? This takes into account not just the TT value, but it also takes into account the markup value, okay? And I'll, I'll, I'll go over that uh, once we have... Actually, I can go over that now while we're doing it. So we, we've we've looted a few different things, which is uh, be fine to demonstrate. So here is the loot that I'm getting back, okay? So I've got some animal muscle oil, some shrapnel, animal hide, inferior cloth extractor, and blazar fragments. Now, the blazar fragments here, because the value, like the value you get from each one is so low, it's not actually going to show up. Okay, it's not actually going to show up at all. Um, so it's going to be kind of difficult to track your blazar fragments or anything that is like that. Um, but what you can do, not for this, but for everything else, when you first start using this tool, everything is going to come up with a markup of just 100%. What you can then do, okay, you can go into each individual one of these and you can grab all the loot that you've uh, gained from that specific... Uh, Hunt, let's say that, and I grab this one. You can pin these. Okay, so you can pin all of these. And then you can bring up your loot nanny. And you can go across and be like, oh, okay, so, you know, this animal hide has gone down for the, for the month so far. So, you know, you can change this to 18.25... There we go, 18.25. Shrapnel automatically has the 101%. Animal muscle oil for the month has gone up, so you can, you know, put it at 3, uh, 3.10. And inferior cloth extractor has gone up a little bit, so, you know, you can, inc like, for the month, so you can, you can, you can change that to the 6.97. And it will, uh, it will change stuff, okay? Obviously, with these small numbers, you don't see much of a change here. But if I was to, say, grab this animal hide and put it at, like, no percentage, you'll see that this went down. It went from 58 to 59. So it does change it. So that will be your, uh, your loot with the markup, okay? Watch, watch, watch. Watch this bit here. Boom. So it goes up. So, 
when you factor in the markup, this is going to give you your return. So this is your TT return. This is your total return if you're able to sell it on the auction house. Of course, if you sell on the auction house, you have to account for the auction fee. The, these are all things that you need to do. Uh, do by your do, do on your own. You know, you got to do it your bad self and all that sort of shit. So uh, that is essentially how the loot nanny works. And now let's just get into the hunting run. Now that now that we've now that we've discussed stuff, let's see if I can get a bit. See if I can get a little bit lucky with these Xara swords today, which I'm hoping I do. Hoping I get lucky. I've been. I'm going to be doing a lot of lower level hunting over the next uh, few weeks. I say lower level hunting. I'm going to be hunting lower maturity and lower level mobs, uh, just because I'm going to be utilizing my corrosive attack nano chip four. So I'm going to. Be, I'm going to be hunting things like these Xarasaurs. I'm going to be hunting the Shinkabers, the Di uh, the Dikabers. I'm going to be hunting small robots. I'm going to be hunting uh, basically anything that I can reasonably kill and destroy with 22.6 DPS, essentially. That, that's that's kind of how it's going to roll. Um, now, one thing you will notice, which you know is, is, is always a good thing to keep in mind, is the more total loots that you get, the more you'll see this percentage go up and meet at around about... Uh, around about 90%. Of course, you know, if you've got a better setup, and if you've got a better efficient, efficient, uh, if you have a weapon that has a lot, like a higher efficiency parameter on the gun, the efficiency parameter is basically just a TT modifier. Uh, there's a lot of information about it on, uh, just in, uh, in a lot of the devlogs and things like that, so there's, there's a lot of stuff to look out for. But, you know, there's going to be a lot of factors that will affect how much TT loot you get in return. Um, I have heard from people that increasing your, like, your looter profession plays a part. Now, I, I don't have a high enough looter profession to really say yes or no, but my buddy Lawspade, he's got, uh, his, his uh, looter profession is, like, above, like, over level 40. I think it's, like, 40, like, 47 or something like that. And he says that he has seen a significantly higher... Uh, or, you know, he has seen a noticeable loot increase uh, from, uh, pr like, from uh, now compared to uh, prior when he had a lower uh, looter skill. And he chipped in a lot of his looter skill. He he, 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 he did the whole pay-to-win thing. Uh, he invested. He just invested. Yeah, I say pay-to-win as a jest, but he invested. Um, he invested in some skill chips and all that sort of stuff, and he skilled up. Uh, doing it that way, and because he was because he did it in such a quick su succession, or it wasn't that slow grind like a lot of people uh, go through, he was I th fairly certain he was able to see it in more of a like more real time sort of thing. Now we are waiting for a little bit of a boost, a little bit of a little bit of a, a bigger loot because these guys have been so far looting very very poorly. Very poorly, which is is kind of a shame. Exarasaurs usually by this point are you know up to around about eighty percent, um, because you you want you want to get the bigger loots. Like when, when when you're hunting, and now this is me no longer talking about like this is this is me just shooting the shit. Um, so remember everything I say, take it with a big fat tablespoon of salt. Okay, like just just. Keep it in mind that it's just my just my thoughts and from my experiences and all that sort of stuff. So what I've noticed is like you'll get a lot of small loots, then you'll get a lot of like on par like like break even loots, and then you'll get a couple of really big ones, right? So you'll get like minis and you'll get globals, and then it will eventually even out. So this percentage here, it will it was would stay at fifty, and then it like as I get the bigger loots, it will go up. It will go up and up and up and up. Ah, we're at uh, 67.75. And because, right, because the actual uh, amount that we have spent have, has gone up, we're not going to see this percentage goes down as quickly. Now, th this is all, like, you know, understandable, like, yeah, no shit sort of things, right? But, um, 
it, it does it does go to show that it's not it's not the amount of PED that you actually spend. It's the amount of loot that you like the, the amount of mobs that you cycle that will give you that like true to life sort of not true to life. Stop saying true to life. Or oh, it is more true to life. But it will give you your actual good average. Um, and I would love one day. I would love to see that was a that was a one P D and that bumped us up to over seventy. Now we just need a you know couple more and all that good shit. But um, what I need to do one day is I need to come out here with a shitload of P E D. So like just a shitload of ammunition and do a massive run. Get like get this total loot up to like over like. Over 10,000, right? So, do a massive, massive hunt. Get this total loot to over 10,000. Now, the good thing is you can you can pause runs, which is really good. So, you like, I, I, if, I, if I was to bring if I was to bring up the uh, the loot nanny here, you can actually pause the logging, and then you can resume it later on. It 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 it, it is really handy. Like, if you're uh, say. Let's say you're going to be doing, uh, you know, a little bit of hunting in the morning, and then you're going to go off and do something else, um, and you didn't want what you were doing to askew your numbers or anything like that. You you can you can just, you know, you could just do that. And 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 here's a thought, right? So okay, let's say you're on Rocktropia, right? So on Rocktropia, you can get uh, oil and things like that uh, for free. So obviously that has a one PEC um, sort of thing. So that has a one PEC uh, thing per crude oil. I wonder if if using Loot Nanny you'll be able to sort of track it all. Not just track it all, but then like... What am I saying? You can track the oil, like the crude oil that you're getting. So you track the crude oil that you're getting along with the small things that you're hunting. You know, I wonder how much you like. I wonder how much you can do in a day. You know, giving yourself. Let's say you give yourself, um, like a full day. Let's say you wake up at like eight a.m. You get your or seven a.m. or whatever. You got your coffee, you got your brekkie, and then you decide. You know, what, I'm gonna play almost non-stop till like ten p.m. You know, with like breaks and food and stuff in between. So, so playing for like, so you wake up at like seven, you start at eight, and then you go until ten. All right, so you're just playing until ten. I wonder how much PD you can make from just oil and and the 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 the, the motorhead beer kegs and and all that sort of stuff. I wonder how much you can make just doing doing that like all fucking day I'm gonna have to do it one day but I'm gonna need like an entire day just to dedicate to that man like that 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 would be something if you guys are interested in that let me know in the comments section I will 100% I will 100 do that because I think that would be a that would be an absolutely stellar interesting thing to do I think I think it would be a rather Oh, what would what would be the? It, it would be rather interesting to kind of show. Okay, I have been hunting from, or not hunting, but I have been grinding on Rocktropia from this time to this time, and these are all the shit that I've got. You know, and I, I think that would be interesting. Like, and and when you see that little thing tick up every time you get a little bit of crude oil or whatever, it, it will give you that little sense of, oh wow. I, I am I am increasing my stuff, you know. I am increasing my stuff, and of course, you know, if you start off on zero, like zero percent, I want. I wonder how that would work with the system. You know, maybe you have to go and like kill one thing to to sort of set it going. I don't know. I might actually give I might actually give that a shot at some point this week. You know, that could be a video for this week. Spending like an entire day on Rocktropia to see how much PED we can. Like PED we can make. I could I could do it for like twelve hours. Twelve hours, so a twelve hour day. Getting up, doing it, and uh, you know, obviously on the breaks I can 
maybe do some like AFK sweating of the uh, haters. Like if I have shit to do that day, you know, I can just set myself up with the haters and give like the sweat a set value. Um, you know, I know with me, if I do my turning it into mind essence thing, it comes out to. Oh, it probably comes out to around about. 1.5 PED per K? Once I've turned it into mind essence. And, and, uh, uh, accounting for... If I was to sell it in, like, a big chunk, right? If I was to sell it in... If I was to sell it in, like, stacks of 100 PED. I could probably get around about 1.4, 1.5 PED per K. So I can always set it to 1.5. Or even low ball and say it's, like, 1 PED per K. You know, I can, if I need to be away, or if I need to do extra work, I can, like, AFK sweat the haters. That could actually be an interesting, uh, it could be an interesting thing. Doing, doing the, uh, not just the oil, but also, uh, sweating the haters. Just sweating, not swanting. Um, specifically a, this day did not cost me anything, but I got this back. I think it would be an interesting thing to test out, you know. But, you let me know in the comment section, guys. You let me know if you think that is a, an, a, a video you would like to see. Obviously not the full fucking 12 hours. That would be fucking stupid. Um, but, you know, obviously I'd shorten it to like 15, 20 minutes with my thoughts. And, uh, who knows? Who knows? Interesting things could happen. Because one of the things that I could do, right? One of the things I can do is I could set my gun as like the TT pistol, like the the Rocktropia TT pistol, and every bit of uh, like stuff that I get, I can then sell and get you like get some ammunition. And then go out and kill stuff. And, you know, we can kind of keep track of stuff. I don't know. Oh, but nah, that would askew things because... Oh, no, but it will also tell you how much you've spent. Oh, but it won't give you... No, 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 we'll just stick with the original idea. We'll stick with the original idea of not hunting, just getting the oil and also getting some sweat and shit like that. You know? Good work. It could work. And another thing you could probably use this for is a lot of, like, fruit and stone, right? So let's say you go fruit walking and you decide that you're going to go fruit walking for the day. If you spend, like, the first day plugging in the markup of um, fruit and stone, right? Maybe just to the first decimal or the first, like... No, well, not to the first decimal, but like, if it's, uh, if you could sell the fruit and stone, let's say the markup is like, I don't know, 13,000%, some bullshit like that, 13,000, some wank like that, you know, you can, uh, spend the first day or a day looking for different fruit and stone, then you could put the markup in, right? So you put the markup in, and then you go out on a separate day. And then you're able to track down here your total return, like your potential return on the fruit and the stone. That could be another interesting video, like a day of fruit walking. That could be an interesting one. Obviously shortened down, because 12 hours of fruit walking would be, like a video of just 12 hours fruit walking would be a little bit, um... It'll be a little bit spastic, I think. It'll be a little bit nuts. And not really, uh... Not really good. It'll be very bad, I think. Just 12 hours of nothing but fruit walking. And dead air. Could be very terrible. Very, very terrible. A live stream with some banter could be good, though. But who knows. So we're about halfway through our total stuff. And we're at about, we're at 74 point, 
Seventy. We're we're at about seventy six. We'll say seventy five. We're at around about. We're at about seventy five percent. Uh, TT return. So we do want a bigger, like a couple of bigger loots to kind of swing this back to around about ninety percent. Yeah, stuff like that. If we can get a few more of those to kind of bump it back up to, I I would like to see a hundred percent, but. In reality, it's probably only going to get to around about 95%. And then it's literally just RNG Jesus giving us Blazar Fragments and Tier 2 Components. That's all it is. That's, that's all it comes down to. Blazar Fragments and Tiering Components. And, and if RNG Jesus can give that, then uh, I'll, be a very, I'll be a very happy man. Do I have the Tier 2 Component in my list? I do indeed, but I do not have Thin Wool. Thin Wool is 103.4. So Thin Wool is 103.4. Fantastic. And now I don't have to worry about that for the next month. You know, obviously every week, if you're going to use it, just check the markups each week and go off of the month. The week will fluctuate quite a bit, but if you go off of the month, like of the previous month, um, it's probably just a better, better way of doing it. Alright, so we're slowly, we're slowly but surely getting there. We're about... We've probably got another another 10 minutes of um, fun looting time, and I've gone too far. I need to go back this way. I need to go back this way. I'm sticking with the ex uh, the, um, I'm, I'm sticking with the Exaros. I'm, I'm, I'm stick sticking with the Exarosaurs because they give they give the better stuff. They give the better stuff. Though apparently Snabble Snot males uh, can drop. Like, have a chance to drop shopkeeper pads, so... I don't know. Might be worth hunting those guys and doing, like, just a big, massive run of those guys. Maybe. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Just hunting a bunch of snabble snots. <laughs> oh, man. It's, pro it's probably not the smartest idea. Oh, but then again, if, if it does... If they do end up dropping, like, a shopkeeper pad, you know, that's... A few thousand PED in the pocket. I mean, that would definitely, definitely, definitely give the return, you know? Definitely give the return. Now we get a good cluster over here. Maybe one of these guys will give us a, give us something decent. I haven't globaled off of these guys in quite a while. I think the last global I got from an XRSaur was like a few months back. But I haven't been hunting these guys as much as I probably should. I do like hunting the Xarasaurs. Xarasaurs are fun. And, you know, since they do give stuff like the Blazar Fragments and Tier 2 components and things like that, it's probably, for a low-level mob, it's probably the more profitable one. You know? In my humblest of opinions. It's probably the more profitable one. And every so often you'll find like fruit and stone and stuff like around if you if you like run around this little little mountainy bit every so often you'll find them and it's it's good it's good stuff or this mountainy bit I think it's this mountainy bit yes question mark yes maybe whereabouts Oh, uh, yeah, I think it's around... Yes, yes, because you got all the fucking palm trees and shit here. And then you got the... The thing, the sweaty camp thing right up the guts there. Yes. So we are getting... Pr we're getting there. We're getting there. And, you know, the good thing about using this corrosive attack nanochip for... PEG just goes further like you get more 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 playtime you know 
more play time. It's, it's it's good. It's good. You're still able to you're still able to cycle through at a decent rate, but you just get more play time. You know. It's just good. It's just good. So we are down. Ooh, we're down like six PED. Ooh, we're down about six PED. That's not. That's not very nice. That's not very nice. It's not good at all. Of course, you know, like if I was to do this until this number was around about the two hundred, two hundred thousand, then or even like a two or three thousand, then obviously that would probably go up more. Like this percentage will go up to like ninety percent. Because probably by that time you would get a global or something like that. Possibly. Possibly, but I... Haven't really been able to test it properly. But now that I actually have the loot nanny, I should... I should be able to actually test it properly. Which I might do. I might actually do that. I might figure out how much it will cost to kill... Hmm... Let's see, when Mindark did their test, you know, like five years ago, when they did their test, uh, they tested um, hunting, I think they killed 200,000, yeah, 200,000 punies, or spent 5,000 P, like cycled through 5,000 PED. So I wonder if, maybe if I got like 10%, so let's say 20,000, I wonder how much it would cost to cycle through 20,000 Xarasaurs. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how much it would actually cost. Because so far it's looking that per kill it's around about 20 PC. Around about there, per kill. We'll be able to, we'll be able to balance this out and all that sort of stuff, so... What would that be? What would that be? So... So 200 PD would be about a thousand. So we we'll need two... What, 4,000 PD? To cycle through 20,000? 20, it's a fair whack, but I reckon we could do it eventually. We could do it eventually. But then again, cycling through that much in one day would be hell. So I would need to like pause and then unpause and like go a few days of just grinding Xarasaurs. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, that, that that would be a little bit, a little bit extra. I think just a little bit extra. But you know, who knows? Who knows? You know, cra people have done crazier things. People have done crazier things in the game. They've done far more stuff than something like that. For a lot of people, that's... You know, that's nothing. That would be nothing. So we're sitting at around about the 76% mark. Hmm. I would like that to be a little bit higher before we finish up. But... Them's is the nature of the beast at the end of the day. You're not always going to get what you want. RNG doesn't always uh, doesn't always work. You know, sometimes uh, sometimes RNG is just a just a bitch, you know. RNG is sometimes just a pain in the ass. And then we just have to think about the averages. You know, we just have to think, well, eventually it will be 95%. You know, after a lot and lots and lots of PD, and then you go, you, know, you sell the uh, the stuff for markup, and oi, it can uh, it can be tough. It can be real tough. But you just gotta just gotta keep your head up, and you just gotta keep plodding along. And you also gotta enjoy yourself as well. You gotta you gotta take some time to you know sit back and enjoy stuff. You know. Hey, there's uh, 4.38 PED. Very nice. It's brought us up to 88.4. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, because loot can be so volatile, you know, that, uh, that, that one loot there was, you know, enough to, to sort of put us, put us at a decent, decent thwack, which is always nice, you know, 
It's always good. And that was also a decent one. That was a decent loot as well. So we're up to 92%. <laughs> and, and, and see, this is what I'm getting at. This is what I'm getting at. Like, it... Small mobs... Small mobs can be fantastic in the long run. Absolutely fantastic. And I wouldn't mind actually doing an entire thing on hunting uh, the quarter turg punies down at Camp Icarus. Like a big thing, right? And you might be thinking, but they got, you know, they got nothing, they got nothing, they got nothing. Well, think about it this way, right? They drop Nova Fragments. Nova Fragments could be the ticket. I mean, personally, I would choose the Ixarasaurs over the Cordotogs, and you should be able to do that just fine with your TT stuff. But I know that there are going to, like, you know, I know there's going to be uh, newer players that don't want to venture out. They don't want to try hunting these guys. They don't want to, they don't, they don't want to, they don't want to try it. You know, because of either being, worrying about them killing them or, you know, other stuff like that. Never worry about a mob killing you. There, there, there is no, there, there is no real... Uh, loss in a mob killing you. As long as you can get back and kill that mob, you know it, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. It doesn't really matter. Now we got a few more PD to go. Got a little bit of PD to go before we finish. I wonder if we'll stick it around about the ninety percent. I don't know. It might dip back into the eighty percent. Yeah, it's probably gonna... We're probably gonna end up finishing up on like 88% or something like that. That that would be... That would be my guesstimate. That would be my guesstimate. But, who knows? We might get a... You know, we might get a solid... Uh, might get a solid hit to put us back and keep us in the 90%. We could do. Could do. So far, that's not happening. <laughs> so far, it's not happening. Well, that's alright. Oh, you know, I wonder. I wonder if at some point in the future I will be able to do a... I wonder if 2,000 Xarasaurs will uh, yield the, the sort of 95%. I might actually see at what point does the... Loot stick at around about the 95% range. I'm going to have to test it out. There must be a threshold, or a threshold, where it eventually gets to that point. Now, we've only got three shots left. We're not going to be able to kill these guys with those uh, with those shots, so we're going to run back. But if we have a look at what we got, you know, we got hey, 48 Blazar Fragments. That's that's not bad. You you tend to get around about a hundred Blazar fragments for um, for every one hundred PD you spend. So yeah, that kind that kind of works. Of course, that within itself comes down to RNG. It does just come it comes down to RNG. Um, I had a really good day where nearly every single Exarasaur drop gave me a drop of Blazar fragments. So that that was that was always really nice to see, um, but it, yeah, it all just comes down to stuff at the end of the day. So if we have a look at the loot nanny, if we have a look at the loot nanny, so we gained uh, a few things with uh, markup, but this 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 is this is what we got. So we only got one of those tier two components, and we got seventy six animal hide. We got some diluted sweat. We got some animal muscle oil. So what you can do is you can utilize this tool to give like averages, right? So you can do this like a couple of hundred times, and maybe you can write down, or not a couple of hundred, but maybe you can do it like fifty times, and you can write down. You can you can write down what you get, right? So you write it all down. You keep it all logged, and then you can come back and you could be like, okay, 
this mob gives me more tier 2 components on average or this mob gives me more XYZ things on average and then you can kind of like pick and choose and go okay this is the better one for me to hunt because it is historically given me more of these things on an, on average so just a just a little little bit of extra thoughts but if you come over here you can see the skills that we gained and we gained a total of 13.56 skills Got some wounding, some pyrokinesis, and all that sort of stuff. Got some athletics, and we got some intelligence. It's always good getting intelligence. Psyche, bravado, you know, all the courage. Courage is good. All that good shit, some skinning. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be leaving it there for today. Ladies and gents, this one was a little bit longer than usual because I was using uh, a lower DPS weapon and going after lower mobs but with more PED. Just to kind of get this average. To sort of get this sort of return. Just just to show you. Just to show you. But I'm going to be leaving it there for today ladies and gents. If you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And if you made it to the end of the video. Comment. Banana gang. Okay. Comment banana gang in the comment section below. And then I'll know that you made it to the end. Banana gang. And uh, who knows, I might give you a little bit little bit of something in game. I might give you some sweat or something for free. Let's 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 see who actually makes it to the end. But don't spoil it in the in the comments section for people. You just put in banana gang. The first person to put in banana gang, I'll give you like I don't know, I'll give you two K worth of sweat. Let let's see who wins. Alright. Later guys.